the only day I don't need it, but then I go find it out of the wash. Welcome back guys to the Ibar series, you might be thinking it's a Chelsea from that, but episode 99 now, close to 100, and it's a special occasion, this one. Unfortunately, it couldn't just be the next one where we play the Super Copa final, but that's not going to be the only thing, because of course we're trying to move this series on, get it finished before we can try and fit in another series for the end of FIFA 20. So in today's episode, I think we're going to play the final definitely, and then I think we're going to simulate these games, both of them, but hopefully make some transfers in between, because I think we're going to get a result if we sim them as well. So yeah, we're going to focus on the big game and playing that. Then sim them to and hopefully get a couple of players in if we've got the money before the 31st before we go into next month where we have uh, Four games there. Is that four? Can I count? No, it's five. I can't count with Liverpool being the round of 16 team We've got picked against I said we're gonna focus on the Champions League now because the league's gone and yeah Liverpool that is quite a disaster. How much have we got in the budget? 81 million Still got money to spend as we go into this. Of course, we're trying to sign Loretino Martinez. So we need to try and get rid of a player. But we, we can't focus on that now. We cannot focus. We have to focus fully on this game against Atletico Madrid in the final of the Supercopa. And yes, it's not ideal having our uh, most important centre-back out in Sanchez. But we've got a replacement with Lafont in the net. Tejero, now Zaga do the same rating. So hopefully you can replace him. With Calera, who's just come into form. Now we tried to replace him last season. With Silva, 86 now at left back. With Sabosgloy, Dominguez and Soler through the middle. Sabosgloy now 86 as well. With David and Vaz, almost 90 in the cam rolls. And Hernandez. Hopefully history can repeat itself. And Vaz can get a winner against Atletico Madrid to win us another trophy. That will be nice. Here's the teams warming up. Can we get the victory here in an important game? David as well. On real good form. It's the top scorer in this tournament, although we've only had one game against Madrid where we got them two goals. And let's have a look at the Atletico Madrid lineup. Oblak, Denzel Dumfries, it's a Diop, Bruno Viana, Lodi, Tasamir, Moya, Palacios, Diata, Dolberg, and Felix. A couple of new names there, I think, since the last time the beat us in the league, which I think was like an episode or two ago. Yeah, Moya, Tasdemir, Diata. I think Diata was actually decent. I think I remember him, but not the other two. So hopefully. With some new names in, it helps us. And here's Jao Felix. Oh, they've got to run on straight away. Lafont dives to the side. We can't be letting him have chances like that, especially in a cup final. I don't think we've lost a cup final, apart from like invitational friendlies, the start of careers, in all the saves we've done, which is an amazing achievement, but got to keep it up. It's not going to be easy here coming off the back of a defeat against these in this final as Hernandez keeps the ball. He's on a bit of a goal drought. Vaz makes the run ahead of him. Here's Vaz. Gives it round to Hernandez. Can he ruin that goal drought? Oh, good shot. And is he going to go in? It is. We take the lead in the final of the Supercopa. Hernandez with a rebound. I don't know how that's gone in. We've got an early goal. I cannot believe it. I'm like the last round against Real Madrid. I'm not going to get excited because, of course, they can pull it back. We never know what they're capable of, but we do take the lead in a huge final. And can we get another? Look at this. Hernandez around the corner. They're struggling with Atletico. Oh. And I think, if I'm not wrong as well, Hernandez, last time he scored, was against Atletico. That first goal when we lost 2-1. So, yeah, hopefully history doesn't repeat itself on that term. As Dominguez with the ball. Can we get another here, though? Look at that run. It's Sabosgloy. Sabosgloy. It's two. It's two in the final. Still 20 minutes in. And I am not getting that excited. I'm, I'm trying hard not to, but we do take a 2-0 lead. David Sabosco, maybe they're focusing on the lead because they've really been poor at the back so far. Straight through the legs of Jan Oblak from Sabosco, and it's a superb goal. Superb finish. Oh, he was no chance with that. Oh, and Palacios, he has Diata at the side of him. This is the guy who played well against us last time. Diata running into the box. Can't let them get one back. This is why I don't want us to be complacent with give away a corner. Corner to be whipped in as well from Tas Demir. Can we keep this out? Come on, just head there. Oh, that is a shoddy corner. And can David get on the run? Here he is, Jonathan David. He's got Vaz to the side of him. Gives it to Estevar Vaz. Back to David. We've got the ball to the right-hand side to play. That's a good one to Tejero. Now Soler inside. Really good play from us so far. Going to switch it again if that works. It does to Sabosgloy. Huge switches here. Really good play. As Sabosgloy is running in and everything. But the cross was good. I think the press conference really did as well here. Going into that as Dominguez has the ball here. Good roulette from him. Can this be a skill goal? He just can't pass it into the box. And Diata to get it away. Just got to keep Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid 
at bay. We beat Real Madrid as well, so we have done well in this tournament. It's just the league we're struggling, to be honest. Doing okay in the Champions League, but not in the league, as I could be speaking too soon. These could be back in the game with a cross and another corner. This should be the last chance of the half, though, as Dominguez is marking the front post. Let's get it away, boys. It's a bad header across net for us, as we've managed to clear it. And that's half-time. <laughs> We have the lead against Atletico Madrid at the break, and I don't know how. I don't know why, I don't know who, I don't know what, but we're going to keep it the same. Hope for the best. They can still come back, of course. We scored two in 20 minutes. They can score three in 30 minutes, but I'm not going to think like that, hopefully. And we're going to try and get another goal to kill this competition off. Here they are building up forward. It's gone down the line. Damien Silva's got to watch his man. It goes inside. Now Xiao Felix. What's he going to do? Give it to Ezekiel Palacios. Forward. That's supposed to be a shot, is it, or a pass? As it goes back to the man, probably would have scored, but offside. And here they are again, Ezekiel Palacios pulling the strings with Kasper Dolberg in support. João Felix has been very quiet as we've got the ball here with Soler. He's yet to get in the game, but we've got runners here. And Hernandez can't thread it through. Oh, and Diata with it now. Come on, they are dominating this second half. They've got Dolberg free as a bird in the box. We've got to come across and they've got the shot off. Stills fall back to Diata, who's just not awake to it. And Tejera will take that all day long. Hernandez now, come on. Give it to Sabosgloy. Sabosgloy to cut back. Can we pass it down this wing? Hernandez has got to run it in Damian Silva. Can Damian Silva cross? It's blocked. And I think that's our first corner. I'm going to try and put it in. Yaziki off the bench. Can't remember how he's pronounced his name now. It was in the uh, last episode. But they've put Staponjic on. I think the uh, hosts. Well, I say hosts. It's at Valencia. But Real Madrid are in their home kit for some reason. I don't like that. Like being our home kit. As I've actually got an attack on though here. Yaziki cuts back inside. He's been scoring of late, but he can't put it back in the middle. Still going to keep the ball though. And it's Soler. Back to Yaziki. He can finesse this. Oh, and it's over the bar from our Turkish playmaker. Very, very close. Barrow now. I remember him from the last one. He was actually decent. Don't know why he's not playing as Zagadu. Puts in an absolutely perfectly timed crunching tackle, which was amazing. He's going to try and get down this side. We can't do. It's a Diop with it now into Denzel Dumfries. And Diata. Got to keep it good at the back, boys. As they're coming forward, Palacios to Barrow. Uh-oh. Xiao Felix getting involved. Xiao Felix with the hit. And Lafont with the save. It should be game over, hopefully. Only stoppage time now awaits. And I think we've got the victory. I think we can finally celebrate something this season. As the ball comes in, easy block from... It's Barrios, I think, I've put on this left midfield role for Sabosgloy, who was dead with energy, along with Vaz, who's gone off. Unfortunately, he's not going to be lifting it. Let's just blow your whistle, ref. Please, we'll block this. Just don't let them get a goal. It'd be good to get a clean sheet as Lafont saves. Lafont's caught it. Hoof that Lafont. And there we go. We've done it. The Super Copa, another trophy in the collection for Ibar. And the players are celebrating Hernandez and Sabosgloy with early goals. Gets us another trophy. It's going to be Calero, the man who I tried to shove out of the team at first to lift the trophy. It's a bit of a weird trophy, though. It's a bit of a wide and short one. Would have preferred a massive lifting one because, of course, we had to win the uh, is it Copa de España to get into this trophy. And we have done, and we're going to lift this one. Come on, boys. On the podium, Calero to lift it. He's already lifted another trophy. He's going to look at the boys, and then he's going to lift it. Eibar colours fly in the air. As we've got the Super Copa in the bag now. Of course, it's not a big trophy like the Europa League or Champions League that we want to get. But a trophy it is. And we're going to go into the rest of the season. Hopefully get some improvements now. As we sim these two games in the transfer window. And go for that Champions League. And as soon as we get out of the game, he's dying to come. Look at this. Really wants to come Martinez. But we need money in. And that money... From the cup that we've just won, I think I forgot that Copa de España or Super Copa. Oh, can't even remember. It's just happened. Might be vital to getting a 90 rated player. However, we can't do it just yet. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We need to get rid of a player pronto if we want to bring him in. Just anyone. Put a transfer off in. That's a scout report. It's not what we want. Need to make funds and big time quick. So I don't know, Martinez isn't going to wait forever. Just someone. Put a bid in for, like, maybe Marino. I don't want to sell him, but it's a good rating. Or Villar, the 80 rated who's just come back. But, oh, he doesn't want contacting no more. It's been too long. I should have thought about finances. 
If we can, we'll go in for him again, but I don't think we're going to be able to. I'm going to sim this game, of course, and we need to make another transfer. And when a team just wins the final out, you can't change it. So we're going to go into the uh, sim game against Espanyol with the same lineup. Lafont, Tero, Zagadou, Calero and Silva. Sabosco, Dominguez, Soler, David, Vaz and Hernandez. Don't know why I call him David. It's just because we're a Spanish team. And people who you usually would call David, if you were English like me, are called David in Spain. So that's the reason why, as can we get the victory? We should be getting it. And it's a 3-0-1. Vaz with a hat-trick. Very nice. Oh, and now it's the Copa de España. Probably going to sim this one as well. Or I might play this one, you know. I might play because we want to go far in this trophy again because, of course, the league is gone. We're counting that out, unfortunately. We're not probably going to win the La Liga title in this series. But signings, signings are something we need to focus on. Of course, Martinez is gone now because we couldn't afford him when we tried to sneak it in. And I've got a couple more players. Oshimen, probably not. Diego Jota. If you guys saw my early Road to Glory on Ultimate Team, you'll know how much I love this guy. Even though he is the same rating as Hernandez, I think he'd be very good. Bailey. Has a 52 million release clause, which I think is very nice. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, probably going to be a bit expensive. Oh, he's on a pre-contract, so we can't get him. And Bernardo Silva, one of the only players at Man City not with a uh, pre-contract. will be very nice. Two Portuguese 89 ratings with Vaz and Silva will be very nice behind Hernandez. But I think, guys, I'm going to delegate for Diego Jota. It would be really nice to end the series out with him. Going to offer the highest of 65 and the lowest of 45, because if we look it and we get another transfer offering, I might go for Bernardo Silva as well, and that Portuguese diamond would be amazing for us. Oh, and we've got a transfer offering from Real Madrid for Juan Camilo Hernandez, 80 million. No delegations there. He's on bad form. He's been a real good servant to the club. He's got us into finals and everything, but that's accepted straight away. Well, it's a higher team. It's realistic for him to go and uh, play better football, and for us to try and improve with that money, so 80 million. I'll take that right now. And yeah, that is huge with this team for the Deportivo game. I don't know if they're in the league below or not. I think they are in La Liga 1, 2, 3. With Lafonte in net, Tejero, Zagadou, Calero and Silva at the back. With Sabosco, Dominguez and Soler through the middle. David, no David, and Vaz in the Camels with Marino up front. Because he's really upset that he's not getting played. 18 at 83 rated. It's just amazing. Probably if he went on for a bit longer, he will grow. But I just don't have the patience for that at the moment. So, yeah, he's going to get the start because Hernandez is probably going to leave us. And Deportivo, I think he's had a couple of struggles against these. I might be wrong. And I think they are actually in our division. I think I remember him with, like, Rohan up front. I think that's his name. The uh, Uruguayan striker. So, I'll have to be sure. Gabi Adini's there, so there must be good to have a player of his lineup with Stistanolas, Villan, Vobdal, Elliot, Villa, Galan, Lopez, Ibanez, Shibishaki, Dabo... Oh, these are some names. And Gabbiadini and Insigne. I don't think that's actual Insigne because I think I just looked at him as a transfer target. And he's too old. He's gone down in rating in about 37. So, yeah, going to carry on here and try and get the victory against Deportivo and maybe get another cup in the bag. And here's Estival. Always getting tired lately, which I don't like. Maybe I have to train him for a bit of a stamina towards this end of the season. The Silver has the ball now. Silver around the corner to Estival. Tries to put it through to Sabosco. It's good work. The wingers come inside. Good cutback. Here's David Sabosco. He gives it into Dominguez. Dominguez to try and shoot. And ooh, it was only just wide. And it was a really poor shot. So it's unlucky he didn't score with that. And here's Marino now. What can Marino do? He's cut back. He's got a man running around him in Estival Vaz. Estival Vaz to cut inside. Give it back to Marino. Marino, good touch. Can he put this to the back post to David? And David scored somehow. He's not the tallest of players. And I don't know how he got there. But Jonathan David, who is on fire, scores again. Actually, thinking about it, I'm talking about Bernardo Silva coming in. I'm talking about Jota. David's higher rated than Jota, and he's on real good form. Maybe we move David up front. He can fill the gap that Hernandez is going to leave. And maybe bring just Bernardo Silva in and another big name in midfield or defence. I don't know. I've got thinking to do. Here's Dominguez. Dominguez running down the wing. Can he thread this out wide to David? Another chance here. Jonathan David cuts back. He's still going. Is David. Gives it to Vaz on the edge. He's left-footed. He hits it with his left. And the keeper's let it go behind. Stupid decision from the referee. As if we can score here, it would be really good. But the keeper makes up for it with a punch. And here's Insigne. Insigne coming forward. Gives it to Shibasaki. Got to be careful, boys. Gallant. We don't want to concede to these. Got to keep us focused. Zagadu. 
gives it back out to Silver now. Come on, we haven't... I don't know what it is. Like, this season, we haven't scored, like, more than one in a game for ages. Apart from the Atletico Madrid game, which was the last one. Excuse me. Uh, so, Boscoy has the ball. Gives it into Vaz. Can we make it a possibility here again and make it two goals? As Vaz nutmegs his player but can't get around to the ball. And here's Soler. Can we do something here? It's a bit of a weird pass, but it's gone to Zagadou's feet. Now, Damien Silva with the ball in the middle. He's going to try and go forward a bit. Damien Silva around the corner to Marino. Marino tries to keep it and gone. And it should be half time any moment, and it is. I'd like it to be more, though. I'd definitely like to have more goals than we do have only one. It looked like Vaz were in a friggin' uh, Deportivo kit then. That really did look like Stavio Vaz. But yeah, got to carry on the way we are playing, but hopefully add more goals because we haven't had the chances, but the amount of possession we've had is just amazing. Uh oh, and they could score straight away. Oh, it's a good job LaFont was off his line. He's improved of like has a LaFont, don't know his first name, but yeah, because. Oh, that game against Celtic, I think it was. He was horrific. As David running forward. Jonathan David cuts back inside. Can he finesse this from range? Oh, he pulls a good save out, does the keeper. I didn't know it were that threatening. As we've got a corner as well. Can Vaz whip it in? Dominguez is always the one under it. And he never wins headers. As Sabosco has it now. To Calero. Back to Marino. He's going to shoot from range. And it's just over the top corner. Oh, no. Lafon, I was praising you. I was praising you a minute ago. And Gabby, Manolo Gabbiadini gets a goal. I was just expecting it to be offside. And Lafon knocks it into his own top corner. Typical of you, mate. Typical to just play so well and make a mistake. A howler like that. 87 rated, I don't think so. And now we're chasing the game again. Yes, it is level, but we should be flying. As Dominguez has the ball in the middle now, gives it round to Marino, and that pass is just awful. And now they've got the ball again, Gallan. They're putting the pressure on us now. We don't want a replay, as it's gone back into Calero, uh, or the man who Calero is marking, as they've gone back all the way. Gondoy, we really don't want a replay. We're trying to wrap this series up this season and win as much as possible, as quick as possible, as Marino has it. Marino looking for Dominguez. Dominguez to the side of him. Soler, this is a huge chance. If Soler can keep it, he's got the run of Marino. Oh, Dominguez stopped moving and Marino's lost the ball. And probably the last chance of the game here as Dominguez picks out a good ball to Soler. Over the top to David, who's swapped position with Soler, it looks like, which is... A bit unusual, didn't want that, as Marino has it down the middle, he's been very ineffective this game, back to Soler, Soler to try and cut through, and he almost did, and here's Lopez, 17 year old off the benches, oh that's a really, really nice deflection for Marino, can it be a goal here, <laughs> it's just an occasion if you're online you've got to dab, so I'm going to dab, Last minute goal, and what a lucky get out of jail card that one is, I don't know how that's worked, Deflection over number four, the centre-back. It's heartbreaking for Deportivo. We've kind of done enough to win the game, but we've took the chance. Marino, oh, I don't know about him because he's not good enough to be a starter, but then he is really good when he comes on. And that's game over. We've won it in the last minute. It's good because we didn't want a replay and we threw to the next round. Nervy, yes. But am I, do I care? No. And now we're definitely going to sim the next game, but it's transfer time now. Going to try and get this money from Hernandez and go and buy maybe Jota and Bernardo Silva, although David's playing well. And yeah, it's the same lineup as the last one. I'm not going to show you because we want to get through this as quick as possible. As there you go, if you want to see, it's right there. Can we get the win against Sociedad? 2 0. Soler scoring and Marino with another one. 2 2 games. Ah, but this game's so close after against Rayo Vallecano, but Hernandez has gone. Uh, transfer's broken down. They're not willing to let him go for under 73, but we've got the money now. Although, we're thinking about just Bernardo Silva at the moment. If Martinez is free again, I'll go for Martinez, but I think they've con uh, cancelled contact forever, if I'm not wrong, with his agent. But we've got a huge list now. And is he available again? He is! We're going to go in for Marino again. Or, not Marino, Martinez, thinking of him who scored a lot. And if we can get him in, it will be huge. And even if we could sneak Bernardo Silva in as well, that would be massive. But I've got to think one step at a time. They just said, do not contact us again when we broke down talks with him last time. But that's unusual because we're going to go in for him again. 100 million straight up. It's more than we offered last time. I just want to get it over the line. Thank you, Frank. We'll get to the contracts. And here we go. Finally got enough money to go into these talks. As he wants a crucial, completely understand that. Going to give him it. 
Hopefully he doesn't want that much wage because of course we'd want to fit in another player if we can. Three years, he'll accept that. Disregard release because he wants one. Okay, because we're probably never going to get that accepted till next window when we're not doing this save anymore. And a huge wage cut. That's what we like to see. As first 90 rated player. I thought it would be Vaz by the way he grows, but it isn't. Replacing Juan Camilo Hernandez, who's been a good servant to us, is Laurentino Martinez from Chelsea or Inter in real life. And that is a huge sign in there he is at the top of the triangle in the board of lights that that might have kept us his job you know because we actually are struggling with his job although we've won trophies it's gone up to an 85 from 62 as so i'm going to look for maybe one more signing at the moment because of course we're not going to move past that rayo Vallecano game can we maybe squeeze bernardo silver in i know he's old so he might be a cheaper but no 63 million we're not going to get him neymar oh he's on a contract you never know if this guy Leon Bailey is a bit cheaper. If we can approach the buy, can we just pay his release clause? Oh, no. Why does it say he has a release clause if he can't pay it? That's why, because we can't afford it anyway. Can we pay 52? I'm not sure we can. Can we? We can just put all the money into 50. Will they accept that? No. Doesn't matter. I just wanted to play his release clause if we can, but it doesn't matter. Maybe if we go back into him later, we could maybe get a player swap. Maybe Sabosklo, but he's doing well for us as well. So, yeah, it's a hard decision, this last signing. We'll get into it next episode. I think I'm going to round this one out here. A huge 90-rated player and a trophy. So, it's all gone well. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the next episode. Not tomorrow, but the day after. Stay safe. See you in a bit. A quick intro. I know that. Go and vote on the video that should have come out now. Uh, which is a vote for the next save after this one. It's very exciting. We'll try and squeeze it in very quickly to the end of uh, FIFA 20 before FIFA 21 comes out. And I'll see you all in a bit. Stay safe. Peace.